Hello friends, welcome to Shopkeeper's Creation. Today's video will be a little bit different. I will show you laboratory preparation of red wine. Well, well, it will not that much alcoholic as you were thinking. You can use it as a fruit juice with little amount of alcohol. Well, there are certain benefits in red wine unless you drink it unconditionally and find yourself dustbin or in food for next morning. <coughs> red wine keeps your heart healthy. Due to the presence of antioxidant, it will prevent from coronary artery disease. Reduce inflammation and lower the risk of cancer. Being a microbiologist student, it is in our syllabus, so I thought I could share the protocol to you also. In fact, you can make it yourself as the materials are so much uh, simple and it requires only the proper procedure. So not wasting much time, let's get into the video. Wine production is only given to our team. Our team is wine product. So, we have to follow the So, we went out to buy those requirements, but unfortunately, there were no grape shop near us. That's why we had to go a little far by bus to buy some black grape. So finally we reach the market and here we have to find out that particular grape because not all type of grapes are acceptable. Ultimately we collected all our requirements and here we spent a huge amount of time and now we were going to back to our department. It is necessary to wash all the grape thoroughly to keep wine free from unwanted bacteria and also free from contamination. Now we proceed to our next step where the grapes were drying under the laminar and crushed in a mortar pistol so that we can extract juice from them. Now the juice as well as the skin of the black grapes were collected in a glass jar. In this way we thoroughly collect all the 300 gram grape juice and collected in a glass jar and after that we proceeded to fermentation process and then we added sugar and sugar is very much important because it is actually a food of yeast and from there yeast will ferment into alcohol. and then we added enough amount of distilled water and then we finally added yeast which is actually the most important ingredients of the wine production And this is the overall view of mixing all the ingredients in a glass jar. Wine must be produced very aseptically otherwise if contamination occurred then the taste of the wine 
changes and maybe it tastes like very acidic which is not expectable so we have to produce those wine very aseptically maintaining all the hygiene so that any unwanted bacteria could not able to affect that wine taste after 10 days we remove out this wine from the shaker and this is the final condition now it is ready for the filtration Filtration process is important because in this way we have to remove the grape skin as well as the excess amount of yeast or any bacteria present in the wine. Now the question may arise why the grape skin were not removed earlier. It is because the skin contact in red wine production allow color, flavor, texture compound to be integrated into the juice. In short, grape skin is used for the color of the wine and the pulp of the grape is used for the production of the juice. For filtration we use filter paper pad which is made up of cellulose fiber and we paste it in a funnel. Now we thoroughly poured that wine into the funnel so that we could get a smooth quality wine. You could see a burgundy red color wine which is collected and after that it will placed in a bottle. Actually it is stored in a bottle and after the aging or if we store for many days the quality and the taste of that wine increases. And here our red wine is ready. So these are all about today's video. If you like it then please like, share, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for further updates. Thank you.